The Niagara College Research and Innovation Team has discovered an automated way to crack the heart nut. Linda Grimo from Grimo Nurseries approached our uh, research facility and asked us if we could uh, develop an automated nut cracking machine. Uh, so we're here to show everybody uh, our progress on that. We started about 20 years ago trying to find someone um, that could come up with an innovative idea and, and concept on how to crack this nut efficiently in a commercial sense. To have people that are willing to invest in innovation is, is remarkable to me. And this team has taken a problem and come up with an amazing solution. The nut itself presented the innovation team with some unique challenges. The heart nut itself is very unique in that it is not symmetrical like a walnut or maybe a hazelnut. That uh, it's, it's more like an almond or, or it has actually asymmetry, so it has an aspect ratio. So that's very difficult for a machine to pick up on and uh, position and, and crack it because it also needs to be cracked right on the seam to crack cleanly. The meat of the heart nut is also in the shape of a heart and the desire is to get that nut meat out cleanly in one, one piece as you'll see on some of the desserts that, that they're showcased on. Jacob Morris is a research assistant involved in the project. It was very challenging, but at the same time really exciting because it's something that you know, no one has ever proceeded to do before. So in that sense, it was really awesome to be a part of the team to solve that problem. The method right now is just using a hammer and a brick and, and uh, cracking it. And uh, when we crack a nut manually, you're using sight, you're using sound, you're using feedback from your muscles. And we had to take that and constrain those things uh, into a machine. Now the machine doesn't see, it doesn't hear, uh, so we need to, to uh, remove the degrees of freedom and uh, focus on the things that we could crack, uh, use to crack the nut. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.